Hello out there. God bless you all you YouTubers. Prayer warriors out there. YouTube Christ Spiritual Cyberspace. God bless America. I'm coming to you living color tonight. This is my coat of colors like Joseph had. This is my coat of colors. I have fresh manna from the portals of heaven from the throne room. Prophecy on Wall Street. I've been God's prophet for 27 years. His prophet to the nations. I'm YouTube's prophet to the nations. I thank Jesus for YouTube putting this video on their website. And tonight, I'm going to open my mouth when God called me to be his prophet there. Just said, George, open your mouth. I'll put the words in. This is the prophecy on Wall Street here. The Wall Street golden calf is going to be destroyed. The God of Israel is going to humble it. In the sight of the Lord, Wall Street is going to come crashing down like the walls of Jericho. God is talking to Wall Street, to you. Wall Street, New World Order out there, that the love of money is root of all evil. God's in control of the whole wide world, all the silver of God. And gold is God's and the cattle on a thousand hills. Wall Street, you're not in charge. The God of Israel, the whole wide world, is in His hands. There'll come a day, Wall Street, that you'll throw your silver and gold in the streets. It won't save you. And the wealth of the wicked will be transferred for the just. They will get the blessings of God, the worldly possessions. God will bless God's just people. The wealth of the wicked will be tra transferred given to the just. And Wall Street, your days are numbered. I'm telling you in Jesus' name, I say it in the name of Jesus that the protesters on Wall Street have a right that the taxpayers' money bailed you out. Wall Street banks, you knew where to order your global goblins. You knew where to order uh, Wall Street people. You took the taxpayers' money, you robber barons, and you took it to Bell out your big banks, your big six banks on Wall Street. The money was for the taxpayers, the people that lost their homes. That's why they're marching on Wall Street today. They lost their jobs. Make loans, big banks. You Wall Street banksters, gangsters. God wants you to loan the money to the taxpayers, to the poor people. So they could help where their houses won't go underwater. They won't lose their homes. That's why they're marching on Wall Street. And this is the word of the Lord from God tonight on October the 11th, 2011, this is your prophecy, Wall Street, that you think you're in control, but the God of Israel is in control. Jesus, the Savior and Messiah, is in control. And you're going to see New York Stock Exchange on Wall Street over these protests. The Dutch boys, the Frankfurt, Germany, could downsize and put the New York Stock Exchange, move them right off of Wall Street, then you... Wall Street, fat cats were nowhere to be without a job. This is, could happen in the future real soon. And President Obama, it won't be long, he'll declare martial law over the United States of America to the Wall Street protesters over the nation. This is like a 21st century revolution, like a wildfire. President Obama will declare martial law and the protesters will be took to prisons or FEMA camps. This prophecy will be fulfilled in God's appointed time his divine rendezvous. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy. There's the word of gold. Uh, God for Wall Street. Wall Street. You're in the valley of shadow of death. Your happy days are gone. It's time for the people that you quit uh, playing games with people's pension plans and people's money and your big institutionalized uh, people that, that makes the stock market go up and down like a yo-yo where you make your profits. You uh, Wall Street money changers, the God Israel is saying, Jesus is saying, you made my house a prayer unto a den of thieves. Judgment has come to Wall Street. This is a prophecy, Wall Street. You have seen fulfilled the judgment of God on Wall Street for robbing and raping the people's pitching plans and their money. And, and people are suffering there. And your day is coming. This is judgment day from this day forward. God of Israel is judging you. And that's the word of the Lord today, the prophecy on Wall Street that the golden cat won't be worshipped no more. The golden cap on Wall Street won't be worshipped no more. 
your silver and gold. It won't save you. It take you to the pits of hell. And you will see mighty revival. Some of the money changers on the new world order on Wall Street will be saved. Jesus will get their hook in their jaws. They'll see the marvelous light of Jesus Christ. You'll see this prophecy fulfilled. This is the new prophecy straight from the throne room on October the 11th, 2011. You can take this to the special bank of Jesus Christ for Wall Street. Now I got another prophecy here that God gave me on March the 10th, 2010. It's been a year and a half ago and this prophecy on Wall Street was fulfilled. I'm going to read it here. Listen closely. Open your spiritual ears. Listen. Open your spiritual eyes. What I have to say. And open your spiritual mind. That Jesus Christ, Lord, give him revelation. That this prophecy you give me a year and a half ago. About what's starting to happen on Wall Street. On March the 12th, 2010. It's happened today. On October the 11th, 2011 here. U.S. banks taking customers' money hostage. U.S. banks telling people now, when they deposit their money in the bank, it would take seven days before the bank will let you cash a check. In all my 56 years, I have never seen this happen in the U.S. banks in the U.S.A. <clears throat> this bankster gangster's plan to hold the money for seven days tells me <clears throat> one thing, that the U.S. banks are totally broke. Big Brother, the U.S. Federal Reserve is behind the new world. This will panic the people and make the small banks fail because they will pay the sins of the Wall Street, fat cats, banksters, gangsters. I prophesied over one year ago that the Wall Street banksters, gangsters would rip off the U.S. taxpayers to save their banks from bankruptcies. This is the G20 New World Order Global Goblins Plan to end the U.S. sovereignty with the collapse of the U.S. dollar. In God we will trust forever. Helicopter Ben is stopping the printing presses for making the mean green money machine. The death of the U.S. dollar is in the air by the U.S. banks hoarding the customers' dollars and cents. The U.S. dollars are touching the green green grass of home. Don't trust in the funny money on Wall Street. The U.S. greenback only trust in Jesus to help you survive in the U.S. depression of 2010 to the end. And all you have to do when I give the prophetic word to release your faith, the God of Israel and Jesus will perform it. And keep your eyes. Here's some new revelation. In November 2011, keep your eyes and ears in France on the G20 meeting. That's going to be a very important meeting. So more the New World Order trying to destroy the U.S. sovereignty and other countries around the world. Well, that's the word of the Lord today. And I just want to tell you all, love you. Thank you, all you subscribers on YouTube and my friends and my subscriptions. Thank you, YouTube, for putting this video to go around the world. This is a prophecy heard around the world, a prophecy on Wall Street. Wall Street's going to come tumbling down like the walls of Jericho. The Wall Street golden calf is destroyed in Jesus' name. That the people's rising up, the 21st century people's revolution. This is the time. This reminds me like 1968 again. History repeating itself. And me and Betty love you here. Kelly is from the least of Brother Church in Pinkneyville, Illinois. This is for all you people out there in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. This is a prophecy on Wall Street. I'm giving you rights. You could use it on your website if you want to. For the glory be to God. Get your friends to come and look at this video. This is a prophetic video. I don't think nobody else is putting a prophecy on Wall Street. This is first from the throne room of God. I give Jesus all the praise, honor, glory, and God. Pray for the least of brother church of Pickney Bell, No, I'll be praying for you. But now we're going to talk about Jesus Christ will save your soul today. Today's your day of salvation. Yesterday's gone. Today, today's salvation. Tomorrow might not come. You might die tonight before the sun sets. Only God knows. Heavenly Father knows best. Say this prayer. Your soul is priceless. All the money on Wall Street, all the silver gold in the world. You know, you can't put a price on the soul. It's priceless. What is it?
profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. And tonight, say this prayer with me. Jesus will save your soul. You'll be the richest man and woman ever walked the face of the earth in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I humbly bow before you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner saved by grace. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, I'm rejoicing. I'm happy. I'm the most happy man and woman on face of earth. Jesus, you come in my heart today. I'm born again. I'm a new creature in Christ. I crucified the flesh. Oh, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. If you said that prayer today, Jesus Christ saved your soul. Email me, write me. I have my address on George and Betty uh, channel on YouTube. Email me, give me a praise report. Tell me Jesus Christ saved your soul today. Write me, my address is there on YouTube uh, on George and Betty Cully's channel. May God bless you. The many blessings of God fall on you today. I pray the many blessings of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving many souls today, healing people today, deliverance today. The hand of the Lord rest upon you, touch you from the crown of your head to the soles of the feet. Let the man of God, your healing virtue, flow through you. Holy Ghost and fire come down. Give him a Holy Ghost and fire. Give him a spiritual uh, anointing from the portals of heaven like the weeping prophet. Jeremiah said, There's fire in my bones. Feel the fire in their bones up and down their spine, Lord. And Jeremiah says, I can't keep my mouth shut. Give them the fire in the bones, Lord Jesus. Anoint him. Thank you, Jesus, for saving many souls. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering people today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing people. Amen, amen, amen. May all you YouTubers out there, you prayer warriors, shalom to you. May the peace of God rest upon you. May his many blessings, let his face shine upon you and the countenance upon you forever and ever. Be praying for me and Betty Cully because me and Betty Cully be praying for you. The greatest days is ahead of us. 21st century revolution in Jesus' name. We're marching, we're marching to Zion, the beautiful city of God. They're marching over the United States of America, over the world. They're marching on Wall Street. And you're going to see the prophecy of Wall Street. The walls come tumbling down. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.